So you have your main at level 25, maybe you even have an alt at level 25, or possibly you're just starting out in Season of Discovery, and it's time to create a new character. Now as you're going through, you're thinking about how long it's going to take, and you want to make sure that you have the optimal route. So the first thing we're going to do right now, go ahead and make that new character. Yes, it's important. We're going to go ahead and make a hunter, not being a bot, and let's go. All right, now this part is extremely important. Once we're in the game, we're going to go ahead and skip the cinematic. We're going to click out of all of this and we're going to log out. Now we're doing this because while we're logged out and you're watching this video, we're going to be getting rested XP. And that means when we're finally ready to go, those few little bars of XP are going to go so much faster. If this is your very first season of Discovery character, skip to the timestamp you see on your screen now. If this is an alt and you already have a level 20 plus with a little bit of coin on you, go ahead and keep watching. The one thing we want to do is grab bags. There's a few things we want to do, but we're going to go ahead and grab woolen bags. So woolen bag right here at 16 silver a piece. We're going to go ahead and just grab four of those. Now the alternative is the small silk pack, but they are going to be exponentially more expensive. Ooh, might actually be a good time to flip those. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the auction house, grab the armor type that I'll be wearing on my alt, set the level range to a max of 10, and then filter by rarity. We're going to get at least five pieces of the level 10 gear because level 1 to 10 should take about one hour only in this strategy, and then we will have a full set of gear that's going to carry us 10 to 18, and then 18 and up is going to be its own beast. So we're going to grab about three to five pieces of the level 10 gear just to make our life a bit easier. Once we've gathered everything we want from the auction house, we can send our care package over. Now we're not going to log directly over, it does take an hour, so there's going to be some things that we're going to do while we wait. So we're sending over four woolen bags, uh, five pieces of armor, and a level 8 gun since we have a hunter. We're also going to send one gold 50 silver as this is going to cover the majority of the training we're going to need from level 1 up to level 14. Now it's at that point that we're going to change zones and the silver intake is going to be enough to sustain ourselves, but that's going to get us all the way up there. So we're going to go ahead and click on send and now we're going to have some fun. We're going to go ahead and grab the rested XP add-on. I'm going to walk you through the full installation as it's not something that's just easily put on on CurseForge, but I wanted to show you exactly what this does. When we open it up, we're going to select the speedrun guide, and this is completely free up to level 20, but we're only going to be using it up to about level 18. There's a bunch of settings that you can have here. We can enable group quests, we can enable hostile enemy warnings, save and continue, and then you can see we're going to get the active targets, and we're also going to get this overlay. Now on the left side, it takes our quests and shows us the most optimal route or the best XP per hour proven route that we can take to level up or throughout our leveling journey. Now on the top of our screen, it also shows us the step that we're on. It will mark our target for us in real time and it'll show us how many yards it is away. It's going to show us exactly where to go and when to go there. Down in link number one, you will find the rested XP add-on. Now, it looks like they have recently added it to CurseForge. So you can go on there and you can just install it through your CurseForge uh, add-on helper. But I've always done it this way, so I'm going to show you how to do it this way. Go ahead and click on download and we will begin. Here you can see in our downloads folder, we have the rested XP guide. We're going to go ahead and right click it. Click Extract All, and then we are going to choose where we want it to go, and we're going to want to choose our World of Warcraft add-on folder. So you can see it automatically pops me here. Now in my case, it is in my D drive. I will scroll all the way down, pick World of Warcraft. It's going to be in Classic Era. It's going to be in your interface and then add-ons, and you'll go ahead and click on Select Folder. Now we are ready to start leveling. As you can see, it is pointing us in the direction we need to go, and we can very easily see what exactly we need to kill. If you have any interest in the UI, I have another video on 10 add-ons you definitely need, and that is going to cover my full UI and how you can get it for yourself. Should be noted, one awesome little thing that's going to save you a bunch of time is if you go into your options, make sure you turn your auto loot on. Now, it doesn't seem like it's a huge thing, but it is a massive time saver. One other thing is, do not grab your professions 
until you're level 25. If you're going for an absolute speed level, professions take a ton of unwarranted time and can be easily grinded out once you have your alt or your new character to that max level. Leveling in Season of Discovery is naturally faster than any other leveling in Classic Era or even Retail WoW servers, and that's mainly due to the fact that we have access to these runes. And some of these runes unlock powers for certain classes that are way more powerful than they should be, and definitely shouldn't be acquired until level 30 plus. Now here are the best runes for each class in their respective starting zones. That means while you're leveling through your starting zone, you should make it a priority to look out for and maybe even look up a guide for how to get your class specific rune because these will make leveling so much faster. Druids can find Sunfire, Hunters get Explosive Shot, Mages can acquire Living Flame, Crusader Strike is there for Paladins, Priests can get Penance, Rogues get Shadow Strike, Lava Lash for Shamans, Haunt for Warlocks, and Blood Frenzy for Warriors. Now, Wowheads has some amazing class-specific guides for these runes. I will, of course, leave it down in the description below, and that will cover all of the runes for each class independently. No matter what era of classic you're in, the thing that's going to take the longest is walking everywhere. Walking around, especially pre-level 40, we don't have a mount. This takes forever. Luckily, there's something called logout skips, and there's even an add-on by Yazpad that you can download if you're not familiar with these logout skips that will literally show you how to bounce around the map and save a ton of time. Now some of these require a jumping logout. That means that we're going to be creating a slash camp macro and keybinding that to our bar somewhere, going up on something like one of these braziers, jumping off, and then hitting our camp macro as fast as we can. That's going to log us out and then log us back in at the closest graveyard. So you can understand how much time this will save if you can just jump off of a place, do a 20 second log out, re-log, and then all of a sudden you're teleported across the map, sometimes even into different zones, depending on the logout skip that you're doing. An extremely important part of staying on top of leveling quickly, because let's face it, a lot of us are gonna level one to 10 super fast. And then around level 15, it's going to start to feel like things are slowing down. And that may be because we're not staying on top of our talents. So this is an add-on right here called What's Training. And this add-on is going to let you know at any time, anywhere, what spells you have available to train so you know to grab them while you're in the city as a nice little reminder. It's also going to let you know what level your next spells are coming at and how much they're going to cost to train. This means not only are you going to be ensuring that you're on top of all of your skills every time you're in the city, you're also going to make sure you're not running into the city unaware that you have nothing to train and you're therefore wasting time. That's really what we want to avoid and this add-on is completely free and helps with that. Now I'm not going to lie, doing dungeons, one of my favorite parts of World of Warcraft and especially with all the new runes to have fun with, dungeons have been a blast. However, when we're speed leveling, dungeons are not going to be the best XP per hour that we can potentially get. It's not optimal. This may become less true as Scarlet Monastery and future phases come out, but as of right now in this phase, we want to be hitting those quests as hard as we can and on that note, when we do step into a dungeon, we want to ensure that we're only really doing one dungeon run with a complete quest run. So here are the quests that you want to focus on. For Horde, we have starting out in Ragefire Chasm with testing an enemy's strength, searching for the lost satchel, returning it of course, slaying the beast, the power to destroy, and hidden enemies and those are going to be in rfc now for the alliance in dead minds we have collecting memories oh brother underground assault the unsent letter red silk bandanas and the defias brotherhood with the defias brotherhood giving an amazing piece of gear 
at the end of it. But the same can be said for Horde. They have those as well. Going back to Horde in Wailing Caverns, we have the specific Horde quests of Serpent Bloom and Leaders of the Fang, which of course gives either Crescent Staff or Wing Blade absolutely huge. But also in WC, we have a long list of neutral quests. This can be Horde or Alliance, including Smart Drinks, Trouble at the Docks, Deviant Hides, Deviant Eradication, and the Glowing Shard. And those are the neutral quests that can be found right above the entrance to the WC cave. Now, back to Horde specific in Shadowfang Keep, we have Deathstalkers in Shadowfang, the Book of Ur, and Arugal Must Die, of course, giving a bunch of XP and the Seal of Sylvanas ring now going to the alliance and really finishing out all of these dungeons with these stockades we have what comes around crime and punishment quell the uprising the color of blood the fury runs deep and the stockade riots now these stockade riots started from an unsent letter which is dropped off of van cleef in dead mines and starts the seal of rin best in slot ring quest all right, so let's go ahead and do a quick recap. By the way, if you enjoyed this video, I'm pretty new here, so consider subscribing and dropping a like on the video helps tremendously. If this is an alt, there's some definite things we can do from our main character to prepare that alt, including sending gear and gold for training, including potions and elixirs if you really want to go hard. Using optimal pathing and an add-on like rested XP, which is free up to level 20, can definitely supercharge your speed leveling. Changing some certain settings, like your auto loot, is going to cause you to go through mobs and grinding so much faster. And in those starting zones, there's some really high-powered runes that we cannot forget to grab. Also, Classic WoW involves a lot of running. For mages, it's a water drinking simulator, but for everyone, it's a marathon. If you can get an add-on that teaches you the logout skips, death skips, and other flight point skips, you can save a ton of time. And on saving time, we want to make sure we're using something like what's training so we know when to get our new talents and when to maybe avoid a city and just grind four or five more mobs so we quickly ding and we can then train our new talents. And when it comes to dungeons, we really don't want to be spending a ton of time in them at this level cap. Again, that can change down the road with Scarlet Monastery, so on and so forth. We definitely don't want to do battlegrounds, as unfortunately, they're not going to be giving us any XP. But when we do do those dungeons, and we do our one run, hopefully getting the gear that we're going to need at 25, we want to make sure that we have all of the quests that correspond to that dungeon. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope to catch you on the next one.